All right. All right, welcome guys. Hey, this is going to be a series of Nova Atis for Mount and Blade Warband. Uh, now in 1080p, we're going to give it a shot and see how it comes through. Uh, you guys will have to let me know if this is working or not. So uh, we'll see, one, if uh, those watching on Twitch can handle it because uh, it's not giving you the option to downscale to 720p. So definitely give me your feedback on that. Um, it's mainly because I'm not a partner. I'm a Twitch affiliate, which is like the step down. So um, but yeah, let me know. Uh, we're going to do this series. I'm super excited. The reason I want to do this is I think this is the most like Bannerlord um, in terms of all the features. This is going to be the feature rich mod that gives you a lot of stuff that they've uh, kind of shown us for Bannerlord. So not all of it, but you know, in terms of some of the features, I will show you why over the series, why I think this is the closest thing to Banner Lord that you're going to be able to play today. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. And we're going to keep the music off for this too, because if you're watching on YouTube, it does pop. Um, and I don't want to see random ads. That's the one thing that's nice about being a small YouTuber, small streamer. There's no ads. So hopefully you guys will appreciate that. Um, and we won't see those ads get on there for copyright things. All right, so let's go start a new game. I'm gonna get through this pretty quick. You guys will have to give me your feedback on the 1080p. So on this one, um, I'll let you guys pause this if you wanna read it but I've read this many times before. Very, very cool um, in terms of the lore behind all this, or behind this mod. So we're gonna select our character. I think on this one, cause I do wanna see if I uh, can get that achievement for taking over the whole map as a female character. So I am gonna play as a female character on this one. All right, so you were born many years ago. Your father was a, uh, let's go a fighter, because I do like playing that. Um, and then as far as, let's see, you started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk. Your main interests are in the field of um, crafting and making objects, buying and selling goods for a profit. Uh, let's go liberal arts like philosophy, history, and rhetoric. Let's do that. Let's try it. I don't think I've done that one before. All right, so this one, furthermore, during your teenage um, years, I'm guessing, you start exploring your identity. Your personality and ideas turn out to be rather, uh, let's see... I'm not going to be power hungry. I'm not going to be narrow minded. Calm, wise, and weak. Open minded, revolutionary, and prolific. Let's go with that one. Let's try that. Um, as a young adult, life changed. So you can already kind of see the differences right in the beginning here. As a young adult, life changed. It always does. You became a. Um, let's go with a, hmm, let's go with a smith, because we do want to craft some of the stuff later on. I think I want to show that off to you guys. All right, and then, sorry about that, um, but soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was, uh, let's see, personal hate against the Lord, a loss of your parents, wonderlust, being power hungry, and lust for shiny coins. All right, let's go, let's go against personal hate against the Lord that we were at. Let's try that one. All right, become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. All right, allow me to quit without saving. We want to do that. 
All right, I'm gonna change this name later. You guys will have to give me some ideas, but right now we're gonna be Twitch Trump. And then uh, whatever idea that I get that I like the most for this female playthrough, I'll throw it in here and we'll change the name so we can do that at any time. All right, so since we're kinda gonna be kind of a warrior character, we're gonna go two points in agility, and then I'm gonna throw the rest in um, strength. There we go. All right, so let's see. We wanna go probably, we got seven points. We're gonna go, we're gonna max that out. We're gonna max that out. We're gonna max the weapon master out. Um, I do like shield. Let's see, craftsmanship is the kind of cool thing in this mod. So we're gonna go with, um. Maybe two points in craftsmanship. I'm not gonna worry about engineer tactics. I'm gonna get someone else to do this stuff for me as far as companion goes. Um, and then we're gonna go with shield. All right. This one is gonna be a, probably a mixture of everything. So we'll probably do one-handed, two-handed, pole arms, arch, we'll kind of try it all out. Um, Firearms are in this mod as well, so that is a cool thing. And I'm just gonna throw it all to get that proficiency in one handed up right now. Okay. All right, so as this playthrough is gonna be a female character, like the face doesn't change, just the hair. But, uh, and of course, there's no beard, so it does give you like earrings and all that kind of stuff. So, we'll find a cool. Some cool hair to go with. Well, there's a couple choices. We'll go with that one to start out with. We can always change this, and then the beard changes the earrings, it looks like. So we'll go something like that. And we're gonna go. That's fine. That is fine. All right, let's go with that. All right, so this is another thing. So you get to pick your religion, uh, which gives you a 50% price penalty in the kingdoms of Swadia. So. Uh, are all these kingdoms different ones are going to give you different things so i think most of the world in this is going to be christianity so i think that's the easiest one to do um we're going to just do that one just to we can always change this too and i can show you guys that but we're going to start off with christianity all right and so depending on what you pink pick you have different things you have catholicism uh Orthodoxy, Lutheranism, uh, Calvinism, Calvinism, I mean, and Angelicanism. Uh, yeah, so this will also kind of affect it too. The leader of the church is the ruler of a kingdom. We're just going to go with the Catholicism. All right, your family set out foot to the world of Calaridia, either old man, blah, blah, blah. Please choose your age. So on this playthrough, I think we're gonna be young and vigorous between 25 and 35. All right. So, and then it puts you in. So you notice there is no um, little mode that you go into where you do the brother of, um, you have to save the brother from the um, you know, the bandits. So it kind of just puts you right in and you're like, boom, in the world. All right, so I'll show you guys the map real quick. And if we get, so we do, this is based off of the warband, you know, the mo or the regular map, but it has changed. I think this takes place like um, 300 years after warband. 
So it's kind of a sequel in that way. I'd have to, you know, get back to you on that, but I believe it does take place, well, it does take place after uh, Warband. And you have some factions here that still exist, but they're split off. Uh, you got the Vagers here and all some other stuff. So, um, but yeah, we'll kind of get into that as it goes. One cool thing too, there's like a forest. You can go in here and chop down trees and uh, make that into wood and sell that or use that to craft. Uh, there is a mine. I'll show you guys the mine system where you can go actually mine uh, for gold and silver and all that good stuff. So it's pretty cool in terms of, you know, features. We'll go over all that kind of stuff. So we're level one. We're going to be pretty dang weak. So I got to kind of watch where I'm going. So I got to kind of find, uh, since there's no beginning quest, I might want to hit up that training field actually real quick, but we're going to, all right, from the developer, this kind of gives you a, uh, like, have fun, Quintilis, Quintilius, and this mod is really good. Like I said, this is the closest thing that you're going to get to Bannerlord. All right, we got one Swadian. Rumor of the road during a tournament one shot. There's gonna be a tournament in the town by Baron. Okay. I don't know if we want to do the tournament quite yet. Um, I usually stay around all this kind of area, Alderus. I like Zendar. Um, so another thing that's cool too, you got the Mithridians here. They're not kind of unlocked on the map yet. All right, that's already our army. Wages came out. And then the other cool thing is you can start your own. Oops. Let me go over here. You can actually buy ships and set sail for the new world. So this is the new world. There's like Aztecs. You can start colonies. You can do some city building and actually place the buildings down, which is really, really neat. So we'll kind of go into some of those features as well. It's really in depth. Um, and same with when you own a city and all that. So you guys will see some of that cool stuff and you can kill vassals in this mod as well. So if there is someone that you have a rivalry, uh, rivalry with, you can actually kill them off and they're permanently gone from the game. Uh, which is pretty neat feature too, which I think Bannerlord is going to have. All right. So we're in Alderus. And a couple new features in here. We can um, visit the Papal Place, which is pretty cool. Um, you can go to the castle, of course. We can't get in. We can hurl some insults back, but then we get thrown in jail. But we're just too low. Um, and I'll show you guys that system, too. This, is, this first episode is just going to be showing you stuff before we get into the action. Um, but, yeah, very cool there. You can manage property, so you can either buy or rent. And you have four slots in each town. Um, so if you were to buy something, it kind of go. It's based on the economy of the town. They kind of the pl uh, prices kind of fluctuate based on if they're at war and all that kind of stuff, and the poverty of the town. So there's a kind of a working economy, just like you know, um, Warband, but it kind of takes it to the next level. But what I like to do is save up enough florins for these town palaces and buy them and rent them out. And then that's a good way to get, you know, currency besides owning a business. And I'll show you guys the business stuff too. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see, local, uh, visit the tavern. We can do that. There's the arena. That's kind of normal. The marketplace is normal. Um, but another thing that's cool too in this mod is the guild hall. And you have to build, so you can, this guild hall upgrades in each town. Each town has its own guild hall. And this will uh, visually progress as the guild hall levels up. And you can join the guild hall and own your own business. So the guild master gives you plenty of options here. Um, I'll probably start an enterprise in one of these towns. But I'm not going to be able to do it yet because I don't have any money. But uh, we can basically 
Let's see. Can you provide me of? Oh, we can't. So once we get some money, I'm going to find out which one is most profitable here. And then we're going to become an apprentice and learn a profession. Um, and I'll show you guys that as well. So it's pretty cool, pretty neat. And the crafting is really in depth. More so than you would think it would be. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? I probably want to, there's nothing I can really do in the tavern quite yet. Maybe I'll just go check and see if there's a, a free companion. I think there's one or two free companions in this mod. Traveler. All right, no one up here. We'll tab out. Um, so if we walk around the streets too, I can take you a, a look. All the towns and the everything have been totally remastered or totally redone. So this is the town. It's actually quite big, and you can still get in to you know the bar, or, you know whatever. So the trading, um, trading places and all that kind of stuff. So. Very cool. Um, each faction kind of has a different look as well. So the towns look kind of different. It's not the same one. Now this will get used across like one faction. But for the most part, every faction is different in terms of the town, how they look when you walk around. All right. Now let's go to the arena and see what we can do as term in terms of uh, getting some levels here. All right. Oh. You can see. This is all changed too. So we can level up our pole arms, I suppose. The tournament system is really neat in this game because you can kind of customize it. Are you guys not going to fight each other? Oh, my pole arms is horrible. Oh. Took a couple of them out. We might get a little bit of money for that, but... Uh, I think the proficiencies are good to get. Oh, I didn't block right on that one. Okay. Did we get anything? 10 florins. Well, not much on that, but that's okay. Now, the other cool thing on this, too. So, this is pretty standard, right? You got your, your things there. That's pretty normal. Um, this screen is pretty normal. Inventory is going to be, once again, normal. We got some tools that we can sell to get some money. We're going to want to fight some bandits or something here. And I want to make sure that we have a horse. All right, so we can attend the tournament. I wonder if I want to go do that right now. Probably want to level up. So we can camp as well. You got your, your camping options. You've got all this stuff to change as well. So, um, very cool. You got dynamic gears and stuff like that as well. And disable. But we're going to keep everything for the most part kind of same. So, all right. So, let's see. Where do we want to go? Um, I'm thinking... I think we need to go to the training field here to level up. We do have a horse, so if I do come across a small band, in this mod, it's a little tough starting out, but once you kind of get things rolling, it's actually a lot of fun. But it does have a little bit of a tough start, and then the fighting and all that, it's not going to be as tough as... Um, you know, like Prophecy of Pendor or Prisno or anything like that. Where it's going to be that brutal. But getting all your stuff up and running 
it does take some time. We're going to go over to the training field, see if we can get a level real quick. Speak with the trainer. A little dark, so I apologize, but I think this mod does a good job of keeping it um, light. So we're going to go through the stages here, and I can still see pretty well. Get some proficiencies up and get some experience. Since we are level one. All right. I think we fight three of each and it goes up a tier every time. This is a good way if you're playing this mod to kind of get some beginning levels. I think it gives you one or two. Right. Now we get to go against not a novice fighter. And we got 100 experience for beating those three guys. So now we're going against a regular fighter. He's definitely better. Faster, you can definitely tell. through that guy as well. Oh, here we go. That's what I want. Now we should be able to do pretty good here. Yeah, we got a little bit more proficiency, so we're gonna do more damage and it's faster. Got our 100 experience for that. Perfect. Getting that proficiency up. All right. Two handed. I'm just kind of doing the simple thing to get through this as fast as possible, so not being super tactful and using different ways. All right, now we're going against the champion fighters. Oh. Not too good with the pole arms. There we go. Good fight. Perfect. There we get level two. There we go. Um, I think we got what one more. One more, and then we're done. But since it doesn't have the beginning little quest line with the merchant and the brother, this is just yeah easy way to do it 300 experience right there all right so now we can always bring do or bring back our stuff uh our guys and level them up to like companions or regular troops but um but yeah let's go to character and level two let's hit that 12th in strength so we can um we're gonna go in power strike and then we're gonna put all 10 until we get to 100 I like to put it, everything in the one-handed, so. Okay. And just because I like this to be like that, I'm gonna switch that and then move this stuff up here. So in this mod, you also have to have water too. So you have food and water for your troops, so it adds that extra little um, element of management there. And all right, Let's see, where else do we want to go real quick? Um, 
How much money do we have? We have 81 florins. I really want to get into a fight. Now, there is a free companion. I think maybe one or two free companions. And I would love to get the them early game. So I might head over to Proven. And then I want to buy some real estate and get some bases kind of running. Oh, you kind of want a really good um, influx of money. Probably, you know, plus 20, 30,000 a week before you start your own faction. You can, um, you don't have to take over a town in this game too. You can actually, if you get everything all built up, you can, let me show you guys. You can go to camp, um, take an action, and you can create a farm and actually do farming. Uh, and sell that stuff. That's kind of a good way to get money early game, not so much mid and late game, not really worth it. You can create a construction site um, and that builds your castle. And then you have to actually get the supplies to build the castle, which actually takes some time. And then once you finish completing the castle, um, that starts your own faction. So that's how you can do it that way without fighting. So you can actually play the game, have your own faction, and not get in, in into any battles. Now, you won't take over the whole map, but you can have your own faction that way, which is pretty cool. Um, let us see here. What do we want to do? Let's visit the tavern. So you'll notice this tavern's different too. But yeah, over the next uh, you know few episodes, I want to show you guys basically why this is going to be the closest experience to Bannerlord that you're going to get. So these are merchants, the Jihad merchant. Yep, we know the trade screen. He's got some pretty decent stuff. Nothing great. There's better stuff in the mod, but. Uh, Nothing I'm too worried about right now. So, oh, is this Jeremus? No, yeah, Jeremus. Jeremus the monk. I believe he is a free companion. And who is this? Trade convoy guard. So, Jeremus, let's get him. And I believe we're going to make him our doctor. He's a surgeon. All right. Oh, he's uh, 900 florins. Dang. So, 899. So, he's not the one that's free, but that's the one that you want early game. I think that's going to be a big help. So, all right. Well, let me know what you guys want to see in this mod. Let me know your thoughts, your comments. Um, thank you guys for subbing uh, to the channel. Thanks for following on Twitch. Um, all that good stuff. So, thank you guys. I appreciate uh, you guys watching. Um, let me know if you want to see more of this. We can always go back to the other mod too, but I'd like to, you know, showcase this mod a little bit since there's some banner Lord hype out there still, even though it's been seven, eight years, but <laughs> they've been in development six, six or seven years. So, um, but yeah, yeah, we'll keep on going with this. Uh, I've got some episodes here planned for this and we're going to see if we can take over the whole map and, uh, you know, maybe do kind of everything there is to experience. So like um, crafting, owning our own business, and you can upgrade your business as well, which is pretty neat. We're going to buy some ships and head over to the new land, uh, maybe take over the Aztecs that are over here. That's another faction, um, and kind of work our way. So uh, there is a horde that comes out as well from Cartland, um, and you can set that date, I believe, to whenever you want, and they kind of slowly take over the map, and you can, you know, push back and fight them. So that's kind of a, a different element um, to the mod, which is pretty neat. Or I think you can turn it off totally, so you can have it so it's just all these factions and these guys don't grow. Now, they don't take over the whole map. They just kind of take over a couple towns, and then they become not super powerful. So they won't take over the whole thing but they'll definitely be a pain for you know mid uh like starting out in mid game so but without further ado you guys have uh 
we're going to end it off right here. You guys have a good one. And uh, we have some Freeman coming up next, probably within the next couple of days. So super excited to do that. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. Take care.